In Ark, you can tackle the game in many ways, by living in caves, on land, or underwater. But there is another playstyle that is unheard of from most players, living in the sky. And in today's video, I'll be creating my own sky village for all of my Ark solo PvP needs. Let's go into the video. Before we get into this video though, the reason it's being made is all thanks to Just Zone Arc, the sponsors of today's video. They run three separate clusters, one on ASC, one on ASA, and one on Power. The ASC clusters are 50x 10 man with no Gen 1 or Gen 2 with tech suits disabled, and the ASA clusters which I'm filming on today is 10x, low rates, low everything, and is more built around the community and just enjoying the whole game. They also have cluster alpha stuff, and they're also a multi-language community. So if you're interested, please check out the Discord link below. And if you're interested in PvP, please check it out. As, as you saw by this video, there is loads to be had on the server. And thank you, Just Zone, for the sponsor today. Okay, so I'm still quite ill, but you guys need content and I can't be sitting around any longer. So today we're gonna got a bit of a different challenge. I've seen a lot of people making a... Uh, well, mainly Sinza and others making like living under the ground, living in the water. So today I thought, why not tame a bunch of Quetzals and uh, let's just start a sky village. Now, Quetzals are quite a rare tame on Ark in general. I mean, some servers you can buy them from shops, others boost the rates of spawns. I picked Just Zone Ark 10x today as uh, obviously they're today's sponsor. But I'm kind of hoping that we can just find some and make it quick and easy so we can, uh, well... The whole point is to live in the sky. So if I can't get a Quetzal, then, uh, well, my base isn't going to be much of for now. But uh, I guess let's just stop. Start by not dying to that Trudon. Let's um, get a note. Oh my god, there's so many. What the hell? Let's start by getting a note run done anyway and getting some levels up. And so, like any Ark player when any Ark server wipes, my job was to go around and grab all the explorer notes that would get me to a decent level. Now, I wouldn't exactly get to level 100, I think I sat around the level 80 mark, but for now, that was good enough, as I had the Quet Saddle unlocked. Oh my god. That is a really nice looking Gigantoraptor thing. God damn. I mean, I... <laughs> I can't exactly do anything at the moment. I'm butt-ass naked, but hopefully I can come back to that later on. Maybe. I don't know. I've never seen a full blue one, though. That's crazy. Now, with my note run being done, my best bet was to respawn at the top side of the map, as I'd be able to get myself a fast pteranodon, some quick prime meat, and farm a bunch of resources. So, once I spawned in, I hit a bunch of trees, picked a bunch of rocks, and killed the Tegamastax for hide. Oh, this base got absolutely annihilated. A good sign, though. It means there's people about that uh, definitely got C4. Because that is not done by grenades, that's for sure. What day is the server on? Still day one, so early on into the wipe. Those are red damage numbers. And the drop's gone. I think there might be a player here. I'm going to make a club and a bowler. Or a torch. Okay, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die to bugs. Never mind. Oh, it was literally just a stego dying to, uh, dying to some player spikes. There is a baby there though. I might be able to claim it. Was your mum the one that's? Oh, it did. Three stego. Well, I mean, how fast do they raise on this server? I don't think very. Um. I'm going to feed it berries and then just leave it. Like I'm going to put loads in its inventory and I'll come back in an hour, imprint it. And then if I have cryopods, we can take it. Just nearby where I claimed that little stego, I decided to set up a little base so I could farm up some metal, grab some metal tools, and also get myself ready to start taming the Quetzal. <coughs> and as you guys can probably tell, that these voiceovers... It's not going so well. So anyway, with the metal tools made, it was time to farm some metal. But first, I had a few other things to do. And that was getting absolutely destroyed by bees at this drop, which... Just... Just watch. Bro. What is this? What? Bro. Oh. Bro. I've never been swarmed by wild bees in my life on Ark. Am I actually about to die to this? <laughs> oh, ASA. You make me hate this game even more. 
Well, my first death coming inbound. Been fun. Oh, it's because the queen bee's there. Yeah, hell no. I'm getting out of here, bro. Can't even loot that drop. Oh, and there's a saber tooth now. Oh, life's great. Once I had escaped all the saber tooth and the bees that were chasing me, I would set up shop on the north zone shore, and I would knock out a 130 Tyranidon. And when I would to return to it, I would be uh, met with a big surprise. Oh, please tame. Is it dead? Oh my god, Arg Survival Evolved. Why? I should have spiked it. Nah, just take my life. Take it. Oh, I can't. I can't. I made sure to get revenge on the Sabretooth and its baby as well. Both will make some good food in the coming days on this wipe. Eventually, though, I managed to get myself a decent level to round on Tamed, and we could finally go looking for the start of our sky base, which we would fly inland towards Greenop, as that's where Quetzals can spawn. Oh, we found a Quetzal already. Straight away, as soon as I got a to round on, we found one. What level are you? I don't even know how I'm going to tame this thing. I'm so used to old arc where you could just net the guys and let them fall to the floor. Level 20? Do we want this one? We're just going to have to take it. That's the whole point. We're going to have to take it. Obviously, I need a lot more tranks and stuff for now, but we will get this one. I thought that was another one then. Tapajara? We could actually use one of these as well. Hmm. There's something smelting in the space. Oh, there is. Oh, there's a player. Thank you, something out. He's naked. Uh, he, he's actually. Bro's, bro, bro's, bro's gonna drink me out. <laughs> Well, oh my god, he actually had, what, metal tools? He actually has bowlers? A lot of hide, what? He actually has stuff. God damn. And trammed on saddle as well. Yoinked. Yoink it all. There's level 60. His base is here. I think I'm just going to sit at the door. Should be able to get in. I hope. Where is it? Oh. Can I get in? Wait, what? Can I? Oh, no, I can't. He's built it in such a way where you literally can't get in. Where's the door, then? He doesn't even have one. Interesting. I don't think I'm getting in this boat, then. I actually, look. You just... I didn't see him. It actually looks like he has a lot of stuff in here, though. Is there any way I can, like, fly my Pteranodon up in there? Somehow? Oh. Um, no, that might work. <laughs> Wait, arc, arc AI, arc, arc, I can literally just, uh, hello, my friend. Hello, I don't know how I'm getting out of here. Am I even hitting him? I don't, um, you would have thought ASA would have fixed this. I'm not hopping off this until he stops, because I'll just, like, fly out and leave my Tyranodon in here. Oh my god, there's at least six. He's sinking his boat. Oh my god! What is going on? <laughs> Oh my god, his boat's gonna sink. Oh my god, he's screwed. Um, how low is you? Like, the sixties. Can you sink this so I can get out, please? That'd be amazing. He's done. Sinking? No. Why am I not hitting him though? I think he's driving his boat out to the border. I think I might have to try and hop off. Oh, well, my Tyrandon's in front of me. 
What? Um. Huh? What? What is got? Ah! I just. Whatever. Oh my god! Well, that just happened. Oh my god, all this stuff's going to the bottom of the ocean. He made the worst mistake. He made he made the absolute worst. Why can't I kill him? What? Whatever. I need to try and grab his loot bags. The smithy seems to be the most important. And that wasn't the smithy. I literally, I don't know how I'm going to get any of these bags. This guy's doomed his own loot. Hey, what are you doing? Don't you be attacking me. Oh, that's depressing. It's, it's literally going all the way down there. Damn, bruh. Now, with the early game chapter out of the way, it was time for me to start looking towards getting a fabricator and looking towards making that Quetzal saddle. But first, I would farm some drops and come across don't a raid. Any chance of getting scuba. And I don't know if oxygen levels up much on the server, so all that loot is gone. I'm going to go hit a few drops and see if anything does drop scuba gear, but yeah, it's a shame he flew it. Well, he tried to drive his boat out to the border to obviously hide the loot, but that, that didn't go well. That didn't go well. Is that a base? Yep. No, stop trying to... Please. That is a base. Ouch. Wait. Has it been raided? What? Why did I just get absolutely smoked? I need to make a sleeping bag real quick. I'm going to try and see spin in. I want to see what loot. That looks like it's literally just been raided. Everything's still on. Jenny's still up. Like, someone's someone's just raided that short. Now, with this base, it was quite unique. See, someone had clearly been raiding it very recently. Everything was still locked. The forges were still on. The turrets were on. And the plant species were still on. So, my best bet was to run inside the base, drop the Jenny, and then all the loot would be mine. But first, I'd want to place down a smithy to make sure that I wouldn't lose my loot just running in like I've done in many videos before. Alright, well if these turrets inside have turret light ammo in them, I'm absolutely screwed. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. Damn. Okay. Give me, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Stupid plants, busy. God damn. God damn. You need to chill, bro. Alright, we made it at least. I can't even take the fuel out of these, so. Not let me open it. I need to be careful. Can I even open this? Oh, I'm just. I'm, okay. Okay, game. Okay. Didn't want it anyway. Okay. Yeah, literally everything is locked. I'm gonna need grenades or C4 or something. Or my Pteranodon, but. I've got to die first. I don't know how I haven't. Please, there you go. I even opened the Indie Forge. Everything is locked in this base. There must be loot in here. Uh -huh. I really need to get this. Uh, no, I'm going to have to try and demolish it my Pteranodon or something. This is impossible. It's not working. Using the Pteranodon and Ark's poor AI, I managed to sit above the plant species and it could no longer hit me. So, I had a free break on it and we could finally start looking towards looting everything. But first, obviously, I would wait for myself to heal and make sure I was all good. Nice, it's down. Okay. Well, can I break the Jenny first so they can't turn the turrets back on? That is uh, my number one goal. And then onto the smithies. And if we get enough of grenades, I guess after that it'll be fabby. Uh, 
Uh, oh my god, okay. 2,000 metal. Jesus Christ. We got oil as well. I can't even imagine what's in that fab. Do I even have enough, like... I don't even think I have enough weight to carry this all. I'm going to split it between me and my Pteranodon for now. Um, Very stupid to not take everything, to be honest. Alright, let's go deposit it all in my smithy out there. And then we'll come back in. There's probably loads more metal in this as well. But we can now make some flak. With all the metal and the loot I had just acquired, I decided it would be my best bet to make some flat gear, just in case anything would happen. And I would also make a long oh, what's one's here? Yeah, he's coming for me. I don't have many parachutes or bowlers. Actually, I have quite a lot. I don't have a whip, though. This must be their base. on the floor. Have I got a snail? Got me. Oh. oh my god. Killed him like that. Try to put his ground along. He's grappled, we're gonna stop him from being dying. I think he I think the server has an unlimited grapple thing. Okay. Well, I've got the uh the thingy of loot. Oh my god, there's three of them now. I think we have to go. Hmm. I would be leaving all the metal behind. I've got so much of it. No, I can't leave the loot. I have to go back for that smithy. I need to just get myself about and then go. Whilst the three players were out scurrying looking for me, I circled back round and went back and tried to gather as much of the loot as I could. I prioritised the metal, oil, chitin, keratin, and any of the resources that would just be annoying to farm later on. Sure, I had to leave quite a lot of the metal behind, but that wasn't a worry, as I still managed to get away with 1000. And once I managed to dude get away, I went to a drop and instantly started uploading anything important. I'd split all the metal I had, as well as the gear I also had, to make sure I could have a spare kit in the upload in case they managed to find me and kill me. And I also put the obelisk, like the oil stuff in there in the obelisk, bowlers in there, and just any Anything that would make me starting over again very easy. And we also put their Tyranodon in there because, well, it's mine now. So, crashing. I've lost my stuff. Died. So... Hmm. What should be the plan? I think go to... There's a guy on a Tyranodon over there. Go to a drop... Get my second kit out and hopefully just, I don't know, get to work on getting the saddle because I still need to level up for the platform saddle. We have the normal saddle unlocked so we can use one and fly it around, but we still need the platform. I'm like 11 levels off, I think. So let's get my kit back and let's just work towards getting the village going. How have I hit a crafting skill bonus of 1.7 on that? Are you, jo <coughs> Are you joking? Really, game? I have 1,600 crafting skill. What? Crazy. Give me something better, please. Oh my god, 222. This is this is tragic. This is actually awful. I'm 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 crafting more till we get a caps one. There's no way we don't get a single caps one here. Don't believe it. Alright, well, we're just getting shafted. I give up with this. Ooh, Stego saddle and crystal. God damn. Alright, well, let's upload all these. 
Keep my metal safe. Keep the smithy safe. Why not? The castroid saddle for some reason. Keep all of this safe and out of the way. I think the plan is grab a Kletz, get the good saddle, and then log off for the day. Where did that drop just go? Oh, it's not landed yet. Yeah, I think that's the plan for now. That quest up there is looking like the best one on the map, level 90. But I need Rocco, I think, to come on and help me tame it, as I don't really want to have to look at taming a Tapajara or setting up a trap for it. It'll take too long. There's a player here. I wonder if he knows... Well... I wonder if I can do a quick 360 and pick. Nearly. Going. Oh, he's going for stand. Oh, you got me. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hold in. Am I trying on being bitten? Oh my god. It's about. Bro, it's a flamethrower. Um. What? Hold him. I'll torture him to death. No way he survives this, surely. Killed him. Oh my god, I killed him. Oh my god. Wait, I have memories. How am I still alive? The Tyrandon's dead. Well, I need to kill his now. 316 Pike. This guy had such a good kit. Oh my god. Well, rest in peace, my Tyrandon. Jesus. Today has been a crazy day on this server. Absolutely crazy. Rest in peace to Ranodon, brother. You will be missed. But I need to go to a drop now and upload this stuff. Somehow. With everything that I was requiring to tame a Quetzal now done, I finally went around and did the old solo strat of just whistle following this Pteranodon, and I managed to knock myself out a very low level one. <laughs> it wasn't the best, but I needed one to start the village, and if I don't exactly get the villager uh, at least that started a tiny bit in this video, I can't exactly title it surviving in a sky village. Anyways, we got our very first Quetzal tamed out of the four, and it was time to finally finish off for the day. As I don't exactly want to show where I built the village, as if I do, there won't be an episode two and you guys will just raid me. And so, with my Quetzal finally tamed, we could start our village. But for now, I want this series to last longer than one episode like I usually do. So, it's the perfect time to end off this video. If you guys have enjoyed this uh, 24 hours of trying to survive in a village, I hope you guys do enjoy. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.